get them to commit to that rather than me forcing them to do that. Although I could because we own the book. I mean, it, it's these are clients of our company. They only have use of these clients. So, but I will always sit down with them and look at relationships because I think ultimately it's all about the relationship, you know, that, that the advisor had with that client. But, you know, it still doesn't mean that they had, if they had a good relationship, the client doesn't belong to them. It belongs to us. Okay. So, so when a client is uh, reassigned or needs to be reassigned, whether it's uh, a decision that is on behalf of the company, we, we need to reassign your client, or a decision where you might have a financial professional who says, I've, you know, I, I need to reassign part of the clients who are here. It, I just want to make clear, is it, is it the company that is reassigning the clients, or is it the financial professional who gets to choose where the clients yes. go? It's, that's my decision. That's my decision. I make that decision. So I look at, so for example, let me give you an example. Um, I had an advisor, very respected advisor, retire in 2019, had an ex- very extensive book. When I looked at the book, I said, okay, this advisor worked predominantly in the school system. So the advisors that are currently working in that school system, I will assign those clients to them. There were some clients that have moved away into state. You know, they might be living in, in the tide water area. Then I would assign that clients to the tide water area, and we would let the clients know that they have been reassigned to a new advisor. Of course, Mr. So and So have resi- uh, retired or resigned. Okay, and and in, and in this case, this specific case, you had to do that because we had three resignations from financial professionals in your district. Is that right? Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> So you, had I a, a lot of, you had a lot of client assignments. <laughs> well, my assistant did, yeah. But, yeah, so, you know, when, yeah, I had to sit down and assess most of the clients that was reassigned went to advisors in the, the uh, that work in Chesterfield County Public Schools now. Okay. And while we're talking like that, since we're talking about these uh, specific Respondents, um, did you have any idea that they were going to resign before you rese- received their resignation letters on February the 5th? I had absolutely no idea. Uh, and, and, and how did you receive those letters? They, did they email them to you? Did they drop them off? Did they mail them to you? I got an email from the three of them at exactly the same time at 4.38 or something where they Press the button and they said that they resigned. So very much the same letter, all three at the same time on February the 5th at 4.38. And, and did you know uh, at that time, did you know when they sent their resignation letters that they had entered the Richmond office? Um, how soon after did you learn that? Um, you know, I'll have to think back to that. Uh, if I look at the letters of resignation, I asked just I could be wrong, though. Do you have a, any of those letters of resignation, the actual email? Because I can look it up quickly. I think it I, I does. Think we do. Yeah. It means we, we, we can pull there. one of those up. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just give, it, uh, give us one second here to pull that up. But I think we do. I think they mentioned that they had dropped off yeah. their material in, in the Richmond yeah. office. I'll yeah, and two out. of them also sent me an, an, an email from their personal email just sort of afterwards explaining what they had done. But generally, the way it works, if an advisor is going to leave us, they would actually have the courtesy of actually just give me a call and say, hey, I, I'm decided I'll leave the company. I don't like the company anymore, and I'm going to be leaving I, I didn't have that courtesy. I, all I did was I saw the emails, and I only saw the emails for about 6.30 on that Friday night because uh, I was out, and when I got back, I quickly checked my emails, and then I saw that they all three had resigned, and that's when I contacted Mr. Vinebress and the company uh, our, to shut the computers down. Okay. Um. And, and we've just discovered those resignation letters are actually not an exhibit. I don't think that they're they're needed here, uh, so I won't try to get those in and, and delay our, yeah. our, uh, I mean, I our, our hearing. In, yeah, I think they're in there. They did mention that they were they dropped off the the documentation, uh, the the equipment into the office. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I, I don't want to say that I know 100. percent I can't remember. Okay. Um, 
You're breaking up a little.